Oost! Welcome back. We are painting the flatbed trail today or prepping it for paint and hopefully get a coat on it while the weather's good. So I am just doing the same when I bought my first trailer. I just literally painted it in the garden ourselves. It was all we need. There was no point in me sending this to a fancy paint shop uh, and getting spending a few thousand on it because it's not that brand new. It'll do what I need. Just give it a wee rub down. Just get the worst rusty bits. The chassis has been painted because it already had a refurb. We're just going to rub down the sides a wee bit with the grinder and the needle gun and we slight rub, wash her all down, wet her dry and then give it a blast of the paint. So as you can see, it is honestly not that bad. It's just wee bits here. We're just going to wash off, hammer right all that up and then give it a coat. Old man's up there doing the bit of the grinding. I've got the needle gun because I've lost my grinder. Uh, how this works is like a big tattoo gun. Now, professionals in the comments can rip us all the hell, but uh, all I'm doing is leaving the good paint on and just taking off any really bad rusty bits and kind of smoothing it out. See all this paint? That is good paint. There's no point of... Look at that. That's mint. There's no point in rubbing all that down and taking it all away. Just get a slight scratching for the new paint to bite onto it. Um, see bits of that? Just get rid of crap like that. We're going to paint over that rust. We'll just rub it down, hammer it on, let that dry in, and then... Uh, a nice fresh coat of my blue on it. Like, as compressor, this used to belong to Jim Bryson and then it was at the yard and then it belonged to me. Uh, it's just gone forever, this thing. Like, see the tools I've gained over the years? You know what I mean? Like people are all, oh, you need brand new, you need this, or I figured they've got to have the best. I've just accumulated things over time and just made things work. Now there is loads of corrosion around this part, which will be perfect for the needle gun. Can't wait to see the professional comments going. I ah, should do this, should do that. I am on a budget here, and she's not for show. She's for work. Right, so that's her all roughly rubbed down. But as you can see, she is filthy. So before applying any hammerite uh, to the rust for the base coat, we need to wash it. So we're going to get my pressure washer out, and I'm going to stick pure chemical through it. All my stuff is auto perfect. It will run off, but while it's doing that, we will give a scrub with the brushes just to get an extra deep clean to get all the grit and grime off. Let her dry, and then we'll hit her with the we call the hammerite paint. Let that dry, and then hopefully the weather stays good for us, and the heat gets nice and hot, and we'll get a compressor and the gun out, and we'll mix some paint up and just go at it. <laughs> Turn the pressures down. Base of the chemical is just going to come straight through the lands and we're just going to let it steep in. Like I said, this is just pure chemical and the dirt will fall off on its own. But I am going to use the brush as well, just give it an extra deep clean and then with the sun will let her dry. Now, I don't keep going on that, a lot of you are going to be saying, that's not professional, you should do this way, you should do that. Well, if you do what I kind of know and what will work, and remember, uh, I also like the idea of old style trucking away as much as I love my big show trucks and make everything fancy. We, I like to try and do as much as I can myself. And I think the trucking world has gotten to this where everything's like, oh, we sent that away for a full shot blast and paint. It cost 10 grand and 
It's like, yeah, but there's still something nice about if you do things yourself, do it a cheaper way. And I don't mean cutting corners and safety and all that. I just mean be a wee bit of, like, creative. Stop just splashing the cash because it might not always be there. Now that is the trailer all washed and ready to dry up. And for us to hit it with the hammer right, just touch ups here and there. I am going to get the other paint. Uh, right, the blue, the harder, and the feathers and all that and try and figure out a mixture uh, Usually it is like my mixtures on the night out It's just like a dash of this, a dash of that and shake it together the way we go um, See this is proper way of doing painting Really need to sort my container out But this is the blue, I bought loads of this And we're going to need some hardener A gun And some feathers I don't know if paint goes off, but this is the same paint I had when I painted this trailer. This trailer was actually painted uh, twice by me. Aye, twice by me, because it was... I painted when I got it, I went for MOT, it was easier just to paint it again instead of washing it, because it was that scabby. Uh, so, this is still the same paint I've used to touch up the lorry as well. Um, aye. Now that the trailer's had a wee bit of time to dry in the sun, and it is all nice and clean. It's time to apply some hammerite just to these bits here exposed. Only problem was we did not I didn't have the hammerite I thought I had, so we had to go to B and H. We only had smooth silver, but it doesn't matter, it's getting painted anyway. I mean this paint is proper silver. I mean this is for the wheels, but it doesn't matter. Ooh, quite like that. Why we just paint the whole trailer silver? That would be quite cool. Nice big silver trailer. Like trucker Sean, yeah, a good thick coat in there. Remember, nice smooth action. So, like what was that guy called? You used to get on TV, and maybe he was on all the time as a kid. Did he be like, you know, now we're just going to paint a nice little tree here, be happy tree, and you do all this nice, be happy tree. Let's decide, maybe there's a happy tree. Evergreen tree. He lives right there. Start with just touching the canvas. Use just the corner of the brush. Just the corner. It looks so easy. <laughs> Making the bristles bend slightly downward. See there? Look at that. Isn't that a nice little tree? And he lives right here in this brush. So my dad is now doing the painting. I'm doing a wee bit of masking here. Just gonna mask all the fittings up, the lights and markers and whatnot. Look at my lovely masking skills. Right, let's see what this side's like, is that? See, that's, that's already, it's not completely dry, it's still soft, but it's getting dry, so another you just see, I'd say another hour on that, that'll be dry enough, we can hit that with the gun. Uh, Toad is just on the other side now, doing that. So I'm going to get the compressor and the spray gun ready, and what we're going to do is, I know when people are going to say, you don't get the mask up and do all this. No, I'm going to hold sheets of cardboard. <laughs> there we go. Oh dear. Got itself a skin. We we'll have to get rid of that. God, God damn it! Right, I have got my suit on. I've got a buff supplied by tenants for a mask and i'm going to start mixing some paint the ratio of this like i said is like me mixing my mixers on the night out it's just how it feels right uh, i don't know the correct i've got my feathers i've got my hardener i've got my paint uh, I, this is going to be the last of my blue paint we really don't have much more so i'm going to have to make this stretch 
Uh, but we'll be fine, we've got enough to do this anyway. So, excited to see how this turns out. So here's my blue paint, that was the same paint, like I said, I used to paint the old trailer. I've got thinners, and I've got hardener. No doubt someone in the comments is going to say, Oh my god, you used the wrong thinners with the wrong hardener and blah, 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 and it might not work, this might all go to tits, but I'm just doing what I did last time and it worked, no bother. Where's my mixing jug? So that'll be perfect. Oh, I might have put a wee bit too much thinners in there, let's see if it... Come on! No, my luck. There's a few clouds came in. I bet it'll rain. Right, here we go. I might have stuck a wee bit too much harder than that because it's hardening as soon as it comes out. Well. Wee bit of overspray, but she's looking well. She's looking well. See, I want to show the people who want to get into lorries and buy trailers and build their own company. They don't have to go all fancy paint shops. You can do things yourself. I'm just going to get myself a wee step ladder for the headboard. I'm getting paint all over my bloody camera here. Now we know she's a bit rough around the edges, look how blue my hands are from washing my gun out. Sun's out, dry out nicely. Uh, guys, to be honest, I'd actually like some comments in below from some uh, professional painters to tell me what measures I can take next time, uh, you know, to get better at this. I'm honestly going to open because everything I've done is just self-taught, self-measure, and I've always done it that way. But I'm always open for a wee bit of help and advice, so in the comments that would be great. We're going to touch up the back. Next thing I'll do is probably do the back end. So I'll be painting this all red, uh, putting all the LED lights in. I've got a flap to go there, which well, we'll, we'll decide we're going to put the flap there. Um, I know there's overspray in the deck there, but by the time like, you get wood and all that on there, that'll just go away. But guys, well, let me know what you think of this. Basically, I like doing things like this with older stuff because it freshens it up. You're not going to the extent of setting to a paint shop and paying. I don't know what this would cost to get like shot blasts and paint or they're just like a rub down in paint. But it would at least cost you two to three grand, two to five grand, I'd imagine, depending on what extent you went to. I just did that, paint materials and well, look I've got the compressor and all that stuff and stuff for quite a couple of years. That's just taking me five hours of my time. And my dad helped me, could have done it in less, but uh, and it's a great transformation. You don't need to go to extent. So when you start a business, don't think you need to go to like this level. We all got to start somewhere, and this is where I am, and I will get there one day. But I quite enjoy it here. Um, but like it says, any comments would be appreciated. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That's my style. And as always, see you next video. Fire out, fire broke. Oost.